kitty, come on. Boo, here she is. No, yeah, do you want a cuddle? No? She wants a cuddle. There we are. Here you are. Hi guys, it's Izzy, and in today's video, our uh, today's conspiracy, it's going to be all about art. How exciting is that? <gasps> She's she's so excited to hear all about it, aren't you? So yeah, just to set the record straight, I am not an artist by any means, but I just came across these naturally just on the internet and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to make these into like one little video because they are all art themed. So the first art related topic that I'm gonna talk about on my channel is actually a follow on from one of the first ever ever conspiracy theories I covered on my channel and it was all about the Denver airport. So if you don't know what the Denver airport is, the Denver airport is just a weird, weird, weird place. Lots of people don't even believe that it's an airport, well they think like obviously it's an airport, but people think that the airport side of it is just a massive cover up for much, much, much more sinister things that are going on underneath the airport and people think that it's there's, there's all sorts of theories that people think that it's about. I've actually made a full video on it, so if you want to check that out, I don't have time to dive into it in this video because it's just it's just too much to get your head around for one little summary. But basically, people think that the Denver Airport is this weird place. It might be an underground bunker. It might be the literal like entry to hell, is what some people think. And I'm not gonna lie, like the actual artwork that is all around the Denver airport really really doesn't help this reputation that the Denver airport is just an evil place so as you walk into your flight you've got to walk past like an art mural that has like the end of the world drawn all over it there's a soldier that is literally stabbing the dove of peace and like the artist came forward and said that he like made it or something because of uh, he wanted to show like how humans are destroying the world or something like that and I think okay that's all well and good but at an airport really like I don't really want to see like people like on fire as I'm catching my flight really and in my opinion the creepiest piece of artwork at this whole airport is the horse statue outside and as you take off on a plane from the Denver airport the eyes start to glow at you and the weirdest part about this whole statue Lucifer which is what it's nicknamed is that it actually killed the person that made it so it actually killed the artist because a piece of it fell off as he was making it and crushed him and this evil statue actually actually killed the person that made it like so yeah if you're interested in finding out about the weird 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 stuff that is going on at Denver airport trust me the artwork is only the tip of the iceberg um then I've made a full video about it which I'll leave in the description below but I just thought I would share some follow-on stuff that I've learned about the airport since making that video and in 2018 they started some renovations at the airport and whoever is in charge of the airport and knows the reputation about it they decided to sort of play up to the conspiracy theory. So the places of the airport that were under construction were all covered up and everything. And then on these boarded off areas, they decided to stick some signs on it that would sort of be like a ha ha to all the conspiracy theories out there. Don't be suspicious. 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 So the airport's put them up and been like, haha, no, it's just a joke to all the conspiracy theories because obviously nothing suspicious is going on. But I just think, what best way to make something sound ridiculous and so far-fetched than to make a joke of it? Is this actually a double bluff from the airport? Who knows? I just think it's creepy enough to put that up as it is because if I didn't know anything about Denver Airport and I just flew there and was like walking around the airport, I would be like, this is the creepiest place on earth and to be honest i do think the denver airport is the creepiest place on earth the next topic of discussion is probably one of the most famous paintings in the world you know it's the mona lisa by leonardo da vinci for a moment i just have to talk about mona lisa's smile because this is something that is driving me crazy like i i actually this will keep me up at night so you know how mona lisa is just known for having sort of like a resting bitch face I know, it, it's uncanny. There's even the famous saying, Mona Lisa smile, like, as in, she doesn't smile. Well, what if I told you she's been grinning away this whole time? Look at this. I'm sorry, what? I don't know if this is some Mandela effect or anything like that, because I swear, she, she was never grinning before, so I actually had to look into this because I was like, how is it possible that a painting can move? So scientists at Harvard University have actually investigated this, so I, I'm not going crazy. Her smile actually moves and scientists have investigated it, so there. So some scientists have actually found out that when you look at her eyes, her mouth is in your peripheral vision, and that sees in black and white, which accentuates the shadows of her smile, making it look smaller. And then when you look directly at the smile, it makes it look wider. 
and then the wider it looks the more it looks like she's grinning. I don't know what to make of that information uh, basically these scientists are saying that depending on where you look at the painting her smile moves so honestly I don't know what to even believe anymore with this painting like I wouldn't be shocked if the next time I look at the Mona Lisa she's doing a full-on pout like the next conspiracy I have is all about one of my favourite artists of all time, Banksy, one of like the world's most famous street artists, and it's actually about one of his most famous paintings, Girl with Balloon, and this painting was originally made in 2002, and I don't think the original stands anymore because like it's graffiti art, it gets painted over, it gets taken down, and yeah, which is a shame, but this piece of art has so many different variations to it that I'm, I'm sure every single person watching this has seen one version of this or another. So in 2018, a 2006 framed version of this painting sold for auction and it sold for £1.04 million, pounds, which... <laughs> so the weird thing is, as soon as this painting sold for auction, like the second that little hammer thing went down, people started hearing a noise coming from the painting and that noise was the painting shredding itself, as in there was a built-in shredder in the frame and it just, just went before everyone's eyes and everyone turned around and was like, like that painting just cost 1.04 million pounds and it's just started to shred itself like, and then right as that happened, Banksy on his official Instagram page, he put up a picture of the destroyed painting and captioned it, going, going, gone. So the auction house Sotheby, sorry I feel like I'm not rich enough to know how you pronounce that. They claim that they had no idea that this was going to happen and that they were quote, banksied. But a conspiracy has arisen of whether or not this was all planned all along. Banksy in a now deleted Instagram post explained how the shredder was installed in the painting and that every single time in rehearsals when they practiced shredding this painting that it went the whole way through which shows that it was meant to be destroyed. However, this time round, the painting only stopped halfway, meaning it wasn't fully destroyed. So loads of people think that it was his intention to create another piece of artwork. The actual auction house themselves said, this is so fascinating because it's the only piece of artwork to actually ever be created at an auction. So it was up for discussion, like, is this piece of art ruined now? Is it like, can we sell this still? And the woman who actually bought this piece of art in the first place decided that she still wanted to buy the piece of art. And this piece of art was renamed from Girl with a Balloon to love is in the bin and i've seen varying figures for how much this piece of art sold for some people say that it went up in value but at least sold for the 1.04 million pounds that she originally paid for it so yeah this whole stunt just leaves so many questions because people say that he didn't know when it was going to be sold but he also posted a picture like almost instantly on instagram of the painting being destroyed so loads of people think that he was there himself in the auction room watching this painting be destroyed or that he at least had someone to send him that picture and that he knew about it all along. Most people think that it also wasn't intended to go all the way through and I've got to say I sort of believe that one. I don't think that it was meant to be destroyed. I think it was meant to create this other piece of artwork exactly the way it was made. It's very Banksy. So yeah let me know in the comments what you guys thought about these conspiracies. Do you think that the Denver airport is actually hiding some pretty shady stuff and the artwork says it all? Let me know if you think I'm losing my mind or if the Mona Lisa actually does change your expression in photos. And yeah, finally, let me know what you guys think about this whole Banksy stunt. Do you think it was an inside job? Do you think it was deliberately meant to change like the painting? Do you think it was just meant to be destroyed forever as a sort of ha ha ha, you can't buy my painting sort of thing? I'm intrigued to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments down below and also let me know if you've got any more conspiracies for me to cover. I've actually, I say this in like the end of every conspiracy video, but I've got such a long list of conspiracies I need to cover, but I just came across these ones recently and I just thought I'd make a little video summing those ones up. And yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye.